objectives over the next few minutes are to show you how the UK CAT can test your knowledge of midpoint and give you practice in quickly solving even the trickiest midpoint questions. In its simplest form, it could be as straightforward as telling you that person A earns £23,000, person B earns £42,000 and person C earns exactly halfway between the amounts that person A and person B earn. The question would ask, how much does person C earn? Here is the quick way to find halfway between two amounts without resorting to a calculator. Add up the two amounts and divide the total by two. Here you could add 23,000 and 42,000, giving 65,000, and then divide by two. To halve any number quickly, halve each part of that number separately. For example, half of 65,000 can be found by halving 60,000 and halving 5,000. This gives you 30,000 and 2,500, respectively. This adds up to 32,500. We can confidently say that 32,500 is exactly halfway between 23,000 and 42,000. If you did want to use a calculator, you could shorten the 23,000 pounds and 42,000 pounds into 23 and 42. You would then add these, getting 65, and divide by 2 to get 32.5. This represents 32,500 pounds, which is person C's salary. I know what you're thinking, that's a great shortcut, but would it really be that easy? Let's try a question that is more typical of what you would see in the UCAT exam. It's a little bit more tricky than what I just showed you, but you can totally do it. Question 1. The life expectancy of a macaw is halfway between the life expectancy of a polar bear and the life expectancy of a captive Galapagos tortoise. What is the life expectancy of a captive Galapagos tortoise in years? Here, we are told that the life expectancy of the macaw is halfway between the life expectancy of a polar bear and the life expectancy of a captive Galapagos tortoise. But the life expectancy of the Galapagos tortoise is not shown. Don't worry. Simply find the difference between the two life expectancy you do know, that of a polar bear and a macaw. These are 25 and 100, respectively, giving a difference of 75 years. If the macaw, which has a life expectancy of 100 years, is the midpoint, this is what we should add this difference onto. 100 plus 75 equals 175. The Galapagos tortoise must have a life expectancy of 175 years, which was answer choice D. A little bit trickier, right? The key thing is to be familiar with these questions. Most students will already have the math skills required to answer this, but the practice a question like this is giving you can be invaluable in saving you time as well as surprise in a test. Even better, you can check if you are solving the question in the fastest possible way. That concludes another UCAT lesson. If you like the strategies and content we're developing and want to see more free content, please leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any UCAT questions, leave us a comment below and we'll help you sort it out and get your preparation up to speed.